Mr. Speaker, this Liberal government oh, continues to use oh, vaccines oh, as a political oh, weapon oh, rather oh, than a tool. Oh, Unlike other oh, governments, they can't seem to figure out how to move forward. We don't need more job vacancies or supply chain issues. Canada and Canadians need to get back to normal. Instead of creating new vaccine mandates for federally regulated workplaces, will this minister listen to the science and his MPs and move towards lifting these mandates? The Honourable Minister of Health. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm so pleased to answer to this question, speaking about vaccination. The Prime Minister mentioned just a moment ago that 80% of Canadians of all ages have received their full doses. Now, about 10,000 every day, more Canadians are getting their first vaccine. 55,000, 55% have received a booster dose every day. 180,000 people in Canada receive a booster dose. And we have approximately 50% of children between 5 and 11 being vaccinated. About 6,000 of them every day receive their first dose. Before we go to the next question, I just want to remind all the members that if they're not speaking and they're in their seat, please wear your masks. It's the rules of the House. And for those of them who can't hear me, I just do I have to say it again? So some people, there we go. I think we have attention. Good. The Honourable Member for Calgary, Midnapur. Monsieur le Président. Mr. Speaker. 98% of federal employees have received each one, at least one dose of the vaccine. Even PHAC has confirmed that it's time to reevaluate existing measures and not blindly keep current restrictions. Does the minister agree with the recommendation from Dr. Cam, or does he prefer to ignore science? The Honourable Minister of Health. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. She is so right for congratulating 98 percent of the public service that is vaccinated. Vaccination, Mr. Speaker, is not a punishment. It is protection. So when you get vaccinated, you're protecting yourself, your work colleagues, your family, your children, your community, your friends. It's not a punishment, Mr. Speaker. In fact, the only way to get through this current wave and all the other variants and in the coming years and weeks.